Amen. So much, you know, what I've been through, a heart and this and that. But God, you know, God just said, no, is it not your time? It's not your And I said, Lord, I thank you, praise God. Every time the doctor said one thing, God come around and turn it around and say, no, it's not you. Praise God. And I said, Lord, I thank you, praise God. Every time they, they check me, they say, oh, you, you need to go see this. You need to see this. I said, no, it ain't, Lord. I said, Lord, I thank you. I just go see you, let's go check them, you know, just to, to please them. But like, but God said, you know, God is, he just has that kind of God. He always have been there. Amen. Praise God. Even before I even knew God, God was right there with me. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, praise God. I give unto God, thank God for Bishop in his absence, the lady in her absence. Praise God. I thank God for, you know, our leaders. Praise God. We got some good leaders. Praise God. Somebody who teaches us the word of God, who stands on the praise God, who, who, ne who never deviates from the word, who, who's right there, praise God. He give it to you what lack it or not, praise God. And that's what kind of leader we need, praise God, in a time like this, praise God. He, he don't sugar, be sugar coated for you, praise God. He give you what you need, praise God. And that's what we need in a time like this, praise God. Everything going on with the government and everything, everybody talking about this and talking about that, praise God. But praise God, but nobody can say nothing wrong about our pastor, praise God. Because he's giving it to you just like God gave it to him, praise God. Amen. Praise God, that's what, that's what we need in a time like this, praise God. Hallelujah, I thank God for so for, for right now, pastor. I've had pastors and they say that it was pastor, praise God, but... I know I got a pastor now, praise God. Somebody who say on what he say, praise God. And, 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 and we need somebody like that. Praise God. Praise God. Call for the deacons and they're going to give us our prayer and our script. Deacon John going to give our script and Deacon Zing going to give our prayer. Praise God. We ask you to get your Bibles and stand on your feet. Praise God. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. This morning, you're reading and you're hearing. Uh, Psalms 25. Trust in the Lord. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not thy, mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways. O Lord, teach me thy path. Lead me in thy truth and teach me for the art, for thou art the God of my salvation. Yeah, yeah. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. For according to thy mercies, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy sake, for thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquities, for it is great. What man is he that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. Psalms 25, 1 through 13. Amen. Thank God for his first word. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us this morning. Thank you, Lord, for just allowing us, Lord, just to be in your house of worship once again. We thank you, Lord, for our rising this morning, our laying down last night, keeping us through the night, oh God, just letting us see another day. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us, oh God, this opportunity, Lord, to praise your name. Oh God, as we come before you this day, Lord, we're asking, oh God, that you use your servant for your glory, oh God. This day, bless us, oh God, to receive everything that you have for us. Oh God, give us receptive hearts, oh God. Oh God, open up our minds, oh God. Bless us to comprehend, to receive everything that you have for us. Oh God, we ask, Lord, that you bless everyone coming through the doors this day. Let us not leave the same. Lord, we ask that you do great things, oh God. Heal, deliver. Lord, make free this day, oh God. Deliver us, oh God, from anything, oh God, that would hinder us, oh God. Oh God, from receiving your word. Lord, bless us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we can take something, oh God, this day, oh God, and go out and be effective, oh God, and witnessing, oh God. In, oh God, just sharing, oh God, your gospel, your goodness, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember our leaders, oh God. Bless them, oh God, as they travel, oh God. Be with them, oh God. Oh, God, shield, cover, and protect. Oh, God, we ask, Lord, that you bless this ministry. Oh, God, to continue, oh, God, to glorify and lift your name. Oh, God, everyone, oh, God, that's proclaiming the gospel everywhere. We ask, Lord, that you move, Lord. Bless, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless it to be effective in the name of Jesus. And, Father God, we thank you for all of these things. And all of this we ask in Jesus' name. Thank you. We thank you for prayer and I thank you. Here, a prayer, oh Lord. Hear our prayer, oh Lord. Hear our prayer, oh Lord. In thy Everything that's going on, that's so for praise God. So much. Praise God. God is good all the time. Praise God. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, praise God. We thank God for keeping Mother Wall. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Praise God. She's right there with us down there. Right. The class. Praise God. She's doing good. Praise, praise God. God. Praise God. God. She wasn't eating yesterday now when I went down there. So I peeled the apple for her and she ate that. Oh, and the nurse told her, eat, eat your soup. She said, I don't want that. I don't want that. I said, okay then. I said, I said, I said you need to eat supper. That's right. So I peeled the apple. She ate that apple. So I said, okay. I said, I'll bring some chicken. I'll bring some chicken. I'll chicken sandwich down there tomorrow then. She said, okay. I want to bring one from Bojangles. I said, okay. <laughs> I'll bring your chicken sandwich from Bojangles then. I said, yes, ma'am. I'll bring this. Right. Just so long as you eat. I said, you got to eat if you want to get out of here. That's you right. got to stay That's strong. Right. Praise God, we come down to the most important part of the service, which is the word of God. Amen. We got one of our own. She will preach, yes. teach, yes. and give you the word of God. Yes. Praise to Sir Erlen Jackson. Yes. God's woman in the time of need, praise God. Yes. Somebody who really stands on the word of God. Praise God. After the ensemble gives you the little song, then we have Prophet Ellen Jackson. God's woman. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him.
to the going down of the same. He's worthy to be praised. This morning we do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To every heart that's in the building this morning. God bless. We thank God. We thank God for how He has blessed us, how He's kept us. We give God the praise for our leaders this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Bishop Melvin Jones Sr., Prophetess Linda Jones, in their absence. We thank God for, as Elder Mitchell was saying, wonderful leaders. Yes. Amen. Leaders that's concerned about your soul. Yes. Amen. Leaders that will feed God's people, will feed the sheep and not fleece them. But we thank God for that this morning. We thank God for the ensemble today. We give God praise for them. Amen. Thank God so much for the many things that he has done for us. He's doing and what he is yet going to do. We just glorify the Lord today because it's a blessing to be in the house of worship this morning. Amen. We thank God for our musicians today. We give God praise. Amen. Amen. For every usher, deacon, saints, and friends. It's a blessing. We don't count it lightly to be in the house of God. We don't take for granted what God is doing for us because God has brought us from a mighty long way. As the first song they were singing, We've been through the, gone through the fire, been through the flood, yes. seen lightning flashing from above, you know, but through it all. Yes, through it all. God remembers us. He loves us and he cares. And the word of God let us know he won't put no more on you than we can bear. Amen. We just give God praise this morning. Well, we do honor the Lord today. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, our scripture reading is coming from Lamentations, the third chapter, verses 22 and 23. But before we go there, if you will, please stand with me as we go to God in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Most holy and always, God, our Heavenly Father, we do come. I'm about to get before you this morning, giving you all the praise, all of the glory, and all the honor, for thou art worthy to be praised. We thank you, God, for our lying down on our last night and our uprising this morning. We thank you, God, for just blessing us and keeping us, O oh God, through dangers seen and unseen. We give your name the praise, the glory, and all the honor, God, because you are worthy to be praised. Father, we want to say thank you right now for the souls, O oh God, that you are allowed to be here today. God, those that may be watching by whatever device they may be watching by. God, somebody needs to be blessed today, O oh God. Somebody needs to be refreshed. You see whatever need we stand in, O oh God. And we're believing you, O oh God, to meet every need. God, for we realize that we cannot do this without you. Oh God, we just give your name all the glory and honor and all the praise. Father, we pray, oh God, that you would anoint this thy servant even now. God, anoint me afresh, oh God, to speak that which you have me to speak. Father, no more and no less, but that you would be glorified in all that you allow me to say and do. God, we take no honor from you, Lord. God, it all belongs to you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, oh God, that none will leave the same, oh God, that they came. But God, they'll leave knowing that you have been in their midst, that you have blessed. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we just bless you and we thank you, God. For doing great and mighty things like only you can do. Oh God, us seek on that and God, in the mighty name of Jesus, even now, God, touch, heal, and deliver. Set free today, oh God. Loose, oh God, your warring angels in this place, oh God. God, your ministering angels in this place, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, walk up and down these aisles, oh God. Oh Lord, I rip you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give your name praise. God, we love you. We appreciate you. And we say thank you. Thank you for what you've done, doing, and yet going to do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. Can we put our hands together and tell God thank you? Can we lift our voices and say hallelujah? Can we give God the highest praise today? Hallelujah. If you can think of anything to thank God for, give him praise right there. Go ahead and give him praise. Can nobody praise him for you like you but you? Because you can sing and say, can't nobody do me like Jesus. <laughs> nobody. Mamas can love you to the depth of, from the depth of their hearts, but they can't love you like Jesus. They can't hold you like Jesus. They just cannot do you like Jesus. And he is worthy. Woo, somebody say he's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy to be praised. Oh God, I was thinking on this week, I said, what if God blessed us 
according to how we praise him, somebody would be in trouble. Somebody would be in serious trouble because we come into the house of God and he blesses us to come. We don't want to come in and just give him a little pat of cake. Hallelujah. Oh, God. We're not comparing ourselves to no sporting events, but you know whenever they're out there, ain't nobody that pump them up and tell them to praise God. Amen. But it was God that blessed us. Amen. And we're happy about that. Amen. 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 Glory to God. If you will, just lift your voice and help me to sing this little song. I thank God for the uh, singers this morning, but right where you are, help me to sing this song. I have so much so mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness. And we thank God for that. We have so much to thank God for. Just want to talk a little bit from the theme. Think about it. All right. Think about it. All right now. Oh, glory to God. I mean, this morning there may be uh, somebody who would probably say or ask the question. Uh, oh, thank you. Very much. <laughs> That's all right. Think about what? Uh -huh. Somebody may just feel that way, and it could be a legitimate question, you know. But, well, I realize that it's, it is a broad statement, and it can cover a lot of things. But we just want to talk about a little bit about this morning. Think about it. Yeah, it, it could. It could cover a lot. But even in the song that we just finished singing, I have so much to thank God for. Uh, how he made a way. He made a way for me. So you have to make it personal. He made a way for me. Then he gave me the victory. Yeah, yeah. Only God could do that. He gave me the victory. And then guess what else he did? He opened doors for me. And I didn't even see it. Only God can do it. You know, you weren't even looking for it. He just opened the doors for you. And I tell you, and it just seemed like, it says, I'm, and I'm not able to see it, but God opened the windows of heaven and just caused blessings to just start flowing. Just start flowing. And you know, you look around and you be like, oh, I know I prayed about this some time ago, but God did it. God did it. 
and, and, and just yes. one, one little short personal testimony. One day I, I wasn't feeling very well in my body and thank God for the prayers of the righteous going forth. And the next morning I woke up, I was just like, oh, I feel good. Hallelujah. <laughs> that was nobody but Jesus. That was nobody but Jesus. And you know he's able to do it, you know. So I, I'm just so thankful that I got so much that I can thank God for. And even with that question that somebody may say, uh, thank him for what, you know, uh, think on what, think about it, think about what. Uh, when you think about the song, like I said, we just sang, we have so much to thank God for. And it's enough to cause you to reflect back on what God has done just for you. You think about it. Thank God. God gave us the victory over so many things. Sometimes there's a little short phrase of song. He said, he gave me victory over the enemy. Amen. And the world can't do me That's no harm. Right. Right. See, God bless your going out and your coming in. He surrounds us with angels all day and all night. Hallelujah. Whenever the enemy says you can't, God says, yes, you can. So who are you going to listen to? You're going to think about what God is saying to you? Glory to God. God, he did that for us. And you know, when you begin to think about how God has blessed us, over in so many ways, uh, somebody said, uh, and I may be referring to a lot of things, a lot of songs that, that were said and saying, it says, uh, uh, count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what the Lord has done. Well, I want you to know, I feel like you're, you're running out. If you have that legal pad or pample, paper or pencil, whatever, you cannot count how many blessings God has restored upon your life. Oh, no, you, you just cannot because, you know, like, whenever the word of God lets you know, says goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And uh, why, when you're going this way, the enemy is standing back in the, in the bushes, I say, somewhere trying to tear you down. And then sometimes he'll try to confront you face to face. But the Lord said he'd make a, he prepare a table before you right in the prison right door. Right there. Right there. And they can see God blessing you. And they'll wonder why. Why, you know, why she's always smiling? Uh, I obtained a nickname one time in a short period of my life. Uh, this girl's on my job and things is going on, doing something. She said, well, I'm going to do something, something, something. And I'm going to say thing here. And that includes you too, Smiley. I said, well, okay, thank you. <laughs> and one told me, say, well, I'm having a party. But, Miss Earlene, I'm not inviting you because I know you're not like that. I said, thank you. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. <laughs> I have, I, just think about how many times the people have rejected you, but they know that they can see there's something different in your life. There should be a difference in your life that somebody can see. It doesn't matter, you know, sometimes people begin to mark and make mockery. Oh, you know, you do this and you do that. No, it's not that. It's uh, in our statements of beliefs, holiness is a standard for, of, for, uh, of living for God's people. Thank you for helping me out right there. Holiness is a standard of living for God's people. Or you can do it, wear it, not wear it, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. But you think about it. How's your heart? Are you living right? Are you doing what God has called you to do? Do you go to the house of God looking to see other people? Or do you come looking for God? Somebody sang a song not long, not long ago. I don't know what you come to do. But I can. But I can. That's right. I come. Yes, sir. I come. I come, and I, and I come, yes, Lord, to lift him up, right. to give him praise. Yes. Somebody say, I can praise him right at home. Yeah, you can, but then don't forsake your sibling and yourself. Put him in the church of God, get together. Oh, oh folks, you sing the song, what a time, what a time. Yes. When the church of God get together. Yes. Woo! Oh, my God. Sometimes some people can sit and look at you like, what are you excited about? Well, let me tell you, let me share this with you. It's time to get excited about what God is doing. Yeah. If you put your finger in an electric socket, are you telling me you're just going to sit there and be like, oh, it's a little thing? No. It's going to be some excitement going on. Yeah. You're going to react to that. Yeah. So when God is blessing us and has blessed us, it's time to give God some praise. Yeah. The world is doing what they are doing, and they're passing laws that's against God's word and his will. And I heard this person say, when that particular law got passed, they said, Ooh, it's just so exciting. It's just electrifying. I said, if you lift your eyes in hell, that's going to be electrifying. That's, that's, that's going to be electrifying right there. That's, that's, that's what that's going to do. And so, you know, we want to think back what God has done for us and how God has blessed us. And we don't take God's blessings for granted. We don't take him for lightly. We don't take the word of God for granted. Glory to God. Because God is a good God. Yes. 
And he's true to his word. Yes. And I thank God because, you know, I was thinking, I said, growing up, you know, we would hear our parents pray. And I know you all heard us say from time to time, we thank God for having godly parents Amen. that took us to church. Amen. And daddy would pray. And I thank God for that. Mama prayed. And you know, we come up with that song. We didn't come up with it, but somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind. And they just took time to just, just pray for me. And, and it's a blessing that somebody prayed for you. And then so when you pray for somebody, somebody prayed for you. But then I remember the saints of old, how they prayed. And uh, it went something like this. Some of you may have heard it. And it went something like this. Daddy and they would pray and they would say, <laughs> Is once again our Heavenly Father identifying who they was talking to. Uh, that we come knee bent and body bowed. Talking about the position in which they came to God. We want to thank you. The last night was not my last night. You didn't die. Thank God for that. That our bench. Was not our cooling boys. Come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> and our sheets yes. were not our yes. winding sheets. Right. They didn't wrap me up and carry me out. Right. Glory to God. Our eyes were not rolled in the back of my head. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. And my tongue wasn't glued to the root of my mouth. You touch me somewhere about my body with a finger of love. And you cause my eyes to come open wide once again. Then when you did it, Lord, I was closed and in my right mind. And I just want to thank you. Just think about it. And they say thank you. It's a prayer of thanksgiving to tell you that God didn't have to bless you, but it is. And the songwriter said, didn't have to bless me, but he did. Yeah. And he didn't have to. But ain't you glad that he did? Yeah. <laughs> just to say thank you. You just think about it. Think about how God, how far God had brought you from. How the Bible even lets us know that uh, in Acts 17 and 28, for it's in him that we live, we move, and have our being. I want you to know that this morning that your alarm clock didn't wake you up. Somebody's alarm clock still alarming. Amen. I want you to know that your loved one calling your name did not wake you up. Right. And somebody knocking on your door, get up! It didn't happen. Amen. They didn't do it. It was God. Amen. It was God calling your name. Amen. And there's going to come a time when he called your name, you got to an answer. But he called your name and he woke you up this morning. You got the answer to your name. Will you be ready? Glory to God. Oh, God woke you up to see the beauty of another new day. And as the scripture said, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. He didn't allow uh, you to be overtaken with the cares of this life or to be eaten up with the fear and doubt which came and comes to destroy you. Amen. He didn't let it overwhelm you. Amen. And somebody said, I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. And then to come back with a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can we tell him hallelujah? hallelujah? Somebody woke up this morning yes. with their minds stayed on Jesus because all night long, all day and all night, God got angels watching over you. He's watching over you, telling death, stand back. He's telling strokes, stand back. Yeah. He's telling headaches, stand back. He's telling the fire that's trying to, yeah. to, to destroy your home, stand yeah. back. Yeah. God is right there. Right here. Woo, think about it. Mm, 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 mm. He didn't allow it. But he says, uh, because his compassions fail not. Thank you, Jesus. Meaning that his love never runs out. You know, sometimes people fall in and out of love. You know, some of us, you know, we can contest to seeing marriages broken and, and people doing and going their way because they say they fell out of love. No, you just failed to do what God commanded you to do. Just be honest about it. Tell the truth. You just didn't want to do what God say do. And so, you know, but anyway, so forth. God's love never runs out for his compassion. For the scripture says they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. 
Now, the mercies that was good for yesterday morning, that was yesterday morning. Yes. But new, you got a new thing this morning. Amen. New mercies. Yes. New mercies I see. Yes. Oh, glory to God. New mercies I oh, glory. New mercies I see. Yes. Praise God. New mercies I see. Glory to God. Great is his faithfulness. God is faithful and his word is true. So with this in mind, think about it. God is true to his word. We have the good intentions of doing right, doing this, that, and the other. But God keeps his word. God keeps his word. And God is a prayer answering God. How many of you know that he answers prayer? He may not come, and I know we hear this, and we don't want to be redundant in it. And it's not saying, it's not being redundant to say that God may not come when you want him to come, but he is always, what? He's always on time. And he moves and he works for us. Just think about it. Nobody but Jesus. Every morning when you wake up, you have another chance to see the goodness of God. Oh, you see it. You got eyes to see. I heard my mother pray this prayer at Ella Mitchell. Mama would say, you got eyes to see. Yeah. And you got ears yeah. to hear. Yeah. You got a voice you can talk. Yeah. You got legs you can walk. Yeah. Oh, nothing but the goodness of God. Amen. Ain't that the goodness of God? Amen. And we have a chance. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. And we ought to give him praise. Yeah. We have a chance to repent. Yeah. When the Lord make, wake you up in the morning, you got a chance to repent, to get right, live right, and stay right. Amen. Just think about it. Just, just think on that. Just think on that. You, if you don't know the Lord, you got a chance to get right with God. Yeah. There's a song that says, yesterday is gone, and tomorrow may never be mine. So if you are not serving God, get right. Why you have a have you why 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 you have chance why 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 you got time and so a lot of times in the mornings we wake up in the mornings a lot of us the first thing you reach for is something else other than what God you don't reach for the word of God you don't reach to turn on the music of, of God or whatever I remember growing up in school my uh, our teacher asked she says her question was what is the first thing you do when you wake up in the mornings. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the mornings? And so a lot of people were saying different things and coming up with different things that they, what they do in the mornings and everything. And I had the right answer, but from mom and daddy raising seven children in the house, I was just like, I ain't saying that because I ain't got none. The answer was, the first thing you do is put on your house shoes. <laughs> I ain't had no house shoes. <laughs> I ain't had no house shoes. <laughs> But it, <laughs> glory to God. Think about it. How many of you grew up, y'all had house shoes to stick your feet in? Well, that's great. Everybody did. And so everybody did. So you were blessed. So you think about it. Thank God for how blessed you were. So Psalm was saying, the first thing I do is, you know, I wash my face. You know, they went down through the line. But anyway, the point being is sometimes now, sometimes the first thing some people do is they reach for a drink. Oh or they, yeah, 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 yeah. Or they reach for a cigarette, or they reach for for something, another what they call a hit, get a hit on this, that, another. But never doing the word of God. But see, <clears throat> God is merciful, and so that's why I say get right with God while you have time, because the time that know you now, it'll soon know you no more. We didn't come here to stay always, and I know we've heard the saying, we're here. You know, this is the dressing up room. Dressing up room. Getting right to go back with God. And so do what you need to do. But see, we see here in Lamentations 3, 22 and 23, where Jeremiah penned these words because Jerusalem had fallen to Babylon and it was a time of deep grief and national mourning. You think about what we are dealing with now in this world. You think about what is going on in this world. How people seem to have turned completely away from God. And they act like they don't realize and know that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. God see. And don't you worry about what they are dealing with, what they are going through. You pray for them. 
And so Jeremiah, it, it hurt him to his heart, you know. So and I was just thinking on this scripture and I said, and I think this passage of scripture is perfect remind, to remind is a perfect reminder for us today. Many people find themselves in dire situations that seems to be completely hopeless. You think about how it just seems like though there's an evilness that has spread over the world. Amen. And people just coming to whatever they think that they want, that they need. They're trying to do what's best for them yeah. and not turning to God. Amen. And see, and this is the thing you want them to turn to God. Yeah. But see, when God said it, in Lamentations, that uh, God's mercies are new every morning. God didn't change. It still holds true for today. His mercies still holds true for today. And if, um, and if you have not already done so, now is the time to make a change and begin to live a committed life. Live for God. We're not trying to please man because so many people, that's why so many people mess up because you're trying to please, please man. Amen. But when you begin to come to God, have a committed life, read his word. See, it's a daily thing. You don't just do it and just stop. You know, it's not like when the world, you know, they have these different activities. You go and they say they enjoy themselves and then it's over. But not this walk, not with this walk with God. So you begin to read the word daily. You begin to pray daily. Because prayer, like we're going through the consecration, prayer is the strength yes. of the consecration. Amen. You know, even if some that cannot go through all the way, but prayer, yes, that right. strengthens you. Amen. And God takes you through. And so you, you know, commit yourself to God. And so don't anybody else say, well, you know, they be trying to tell me this, that, and the other. No, it's to God. Amen. For it's for God I live and for God I die. Amen. And so... And then whenever you begin to commit yourself and have a committed life, then you too can have the testimony like many others, which says, it's another day's journey. It's another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. And you can say, it's another day that the Lord has kept me. Think about it. Just think about it. God has he keep on having mercy on us. Sometimes, you know, we fail to do what we know to do. So many times we fail to thank the Lord. For all that he has done. Oh, we could have been dead, sleeping in our grave. But God, with, with his merciful self, That's his right. loving right. kindness, yes. tender yes. mercy. Yes. Woo! Hey. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He keeps having mercies on us. Because his compassion fails not. His love is steadfast. Amen. His unfailing love yes. it just keeps on reaching out to us. Say, I'm here. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah. When you can't depend on nobody else, you can depend on me. Yeah. Oh, somebody speaks on I can depend on God. Yeah. But then the question comes back, but can God depend on you? Amen. Can he depend on you to, to meet him? Yeah. You know how he asked Adam, Adam, where are thou? Yeah. There was a, I believe there was a specific time that Adam met God. Yeah. And the Bible said in the cool of the day. Yeah. What's your cool of the day? Uh, what time <laughs> What time is your devotion with God? My God? Oh, glory to God. God keep having mercy. Unfailing love. Keep reaching out to us. And he's going to love you like nobody else. Amen. And just because he is always uh, all of this for us, and we know that he will do just what he said, and we know that God is a man of his word, faithful, and he is ever loving, ever kind, that does not give us a license to sin. That's right. Amen. Say that. God forbid. Amen. Just because you say, oh, God is loving. You know, he understand I had to have a little nip. No, you did not. <laughs> no, you did not. I had to have a little. No, you do not. That's a trick of the enemy to try and deceive you to get you to go the way he wants you to go. But I want you to know that that does not give you a license, like I said, to sin. And, uh, but it gives you an opportunity to draw closer to God. Amen. That's an opportunity. That's right. you know, and ain't nobody got to be in your house. Ain't nobody got to hear you praying. But God is listening. Amen. And when we pray, we say, God, incline thine ear. That's right. We want God to listen in to what we're saying. And we want to pray his will for our life. You, if it's not for you to do this, that, and the other, then God, show me. 
Show me what you want me to know. Show me how to do it. Take that opportunity to draw closer to God. Stay in the word of God. See, the enemy will give you any and everything to do to find ways to keep you uh, distracted. You get so busy doing other things. When you get that busy and you can't serve God, you are too busy for God. You are too busy. What if at that time, death come knocking at your door? What if your number is up? What if the Lord says, come on home? And then, you know, like a lot of times people be like, well, you know, God is merciful. You know, I'm just going to do this. You know, then I, I, I'll be back, Lord. No, 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 no. What if death should catch you? With your, don't let him catch you with your work undone. Ah, uh, you got a work to do. Amen. And don't let him catch you. You have things to do for God. Yeah. Let your living, don't let it be in vain. Think about it. Amen. If you have decided to make Jesus your choice, yes. stick to it. Yes. The songwriter says, I've decided to make Jesus my choice. Yes. Then he went further and said, you can have this whole world. Yes. But give me Jesus. Amen. So what gain, what profit a man to gain the whole world and lose your soul? I heard of this man that is so wealthy and so rich, and then he still comment and say something to the effect that he's just not happy. Let mm -hmm. you know, money can't buy happiness. Yeah. Money can't buy love. Okay. There's a lot of things that money can't. Money is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like to have it, but it's not. Good. It, but it lets us know the word of God lets you know the love of money is the root of all evil. Right. It's the root of it, and so you got to be careful. Think about that. It's all right to have things. It's okay. God wants us to be blessed. He wants us to prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. But how's your soul prospering? How's your spirit man? Is your spirit man on life support? Barely making it? Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. My God, my God. You think about it. A lot of us, I, and I'm not going to say a lot of us, but there are quite a few of us that want to uh, kind of get rid of some uh, <coughs> excess things that's happening around here, but... <laughs> <laughs> we want to get rid of it <laughs> but what are we doing about it but with our spirit man do we feed our spirit man how do we feed him how do we feed him and I'm going to tell you how you're feeding you stay in the word of God you stay right there and you can find whatever you need for your situation in the word of God and see, but the enemy would say, no, do this and do that and do this and do that. But no, 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 no. Think about how have you decided to make Jesus your choice? I've um, seen many people who are what they call influencers. Uh, Y'all have heard about that. And, and I'm kind of new to it. I, I just don't know a whole lot about it. But what I've seen and heard about it is they are people that want you to follow them and whatever they are doing. But... What is it that they are doing? How is it glorifying God? The things they're doing. Some influence people to have a healthy diet. And, you know, something ain't nothing wrong with that, you know, to exercise and do all of these types of things. But, 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 but. Right. The word of God says, seek ye first Amen. the kingdom of God. Amen. And all these things, yeah, his righteousness. All these things will be added unto you. Amen. God will supply your need, whatever it is that you stand in the need of. But saints of God. What are we doing to help spread the message that Jesus saves? No matter how deep in sin you are, Jesus saves. To the utmost, Jesus saves. And so how they're trying to influence, and that's the trick of the enemy, he influencing you. He got your eyes on things that's not of God. But what about God? What about serving God? Oh, I'm too young. Y'all old and y'all just don't know. We, we just want to have a good time. You're having a good time on your way to hell. You're on your way to hell. Nah, think about what God is doing for you. And so God is able to pick you up from the lowest point of your life. Somebody said, I'm in deep sin. And there's no hope. As long as there's breath in the body. There is hope. For God said in his word, it's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. God is able to pick you up, turn you around, establish your going. And wherever the Lord establish your going, people will look and say, I remember her from such and such a time, but she's not like she used to be. Look at what she's doing now. And then you can tell them, you can tell them for yourself, yes. 
That, 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 what, yeah, you remember when we went, I did this and when I did that. But all of that that I used to do, Amen. God saved my soul. Amen. And now all of that is under the blood. Yeah. And honey, if you stay under the blood, oh, you'll be all right. Amen. But once you decide to get distracted and see what the world is on, because the enemy going to always try and distract you with things of the world. You know, my friends, them, them ain't no real friends. They are not. If they are not praying for you, witnessing with you, then you need to think about it. And then see, they need to know that it is heaven or hell. Amen. Oh, think about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heaven or hell. And uh, we got to teach them. We got to tell them as influencers are influencing the world and, and our young people. And even, you know what, sometimes we say our young people, but honey, you got some old folk. That right, huh? That needs to be turned around. Amen. They need to go back to the praying ground. Let us all go back Amen. to my father's praying ground. And so, I'm not tell you, heaven is real. Yes, yes. Hell is real. And it's not no figment of your imagination. No. It's what the word of God said it is. It's real. And we got to enter into, and we want to encourage them to know that you got to enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And the Bible said, many there be which go in thereat. Uh, Y'all remember the song? Old folks just saying, Father downward road, it is crowded. Oh, that downward road. is a way that leadeth to destruction. That downward road, so many have fallen by the wayside. But the Bible says, and many there be which go therein. And I want you to read Matthew 7, 13 and 14, and you'll get the fuller understanding about it. So many are standing. So many. And I say, I'll, 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 I'll dare say that so many are standing at the crossroads of life, wondering which way to go. Because the things of the world sound so enticing. And it sounds like, oh, they got it going on. And they're wondering, which way should I go? I hear the saints saying, come on the Lord's side. Or they hear the saints saying, come on in this house. It's going to rain. Rain what? What are, what are they talking about? We're talking about the wrath of God. That's what, that's what they're talking about. It's going to rain one day. It's going to rain. And so you need to get right with God. You got to make up in your mind. I don't want to go to hell. I want to live for Jesus. I want to live for Jesus. And so I'm telling you, I said, please choose life. Please choose life. At the end of this life, there is eternal life. Please don't be deceived by what the world has to say or what the world has offered. At the end is destruction. Remember, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Turn to Jesus while you have time. For only God can save. Only God can deliver. Only God can heal. Only God can set free. Only God can make ways out of no ways. Only God can give you peace in time of sorrow. And God, only God can give you hope for tomorrow. Just look to Jesus. Oh, he's the one. He'll pick you up. Turn you around, he sets you free. Uh, and I want you to know today, I think about it sometimes. Some people say, Well, I, I, I've been in this way a long time and I just can't do this, I just can't handle it, I can't give up this, I can't give up that. But I want you to know today, we've heard it say it so many times before that Jesus is a habit breaker. Yes, you got a habit you can't handle, Jesus is a habit breaker. Well, I want you to know that he will break every feather. No matter how far, how far you've gone, no matter how deep you're in the sin, God can snatch you out of the brand, plucked out of the fire. So 
many of our young people and old are so close to being lost. They're so close to being destroyed because they refuse to obey God. They refuse to be obedient to God. They refuse to hear what thus saith the Lord. Oh, think about it. So many people are on their way to hell, but we pray that God will give them a laborer that will cross their path. That's mighty in word and in deed. And to witness to them. Only God is able to break up the fallow grounds of those hearts. God can penetrate it. You know, sometimes it seems like those walls of their heart is impenetrable, intangible, impenetrable. The word means, okay, I'm going to tell you like this. It seems like you can't break through. Oh, but it can. The word of God can. The blood of Jesus can. But see, the saints of God, don't give up on them. If that's what that's what we got to do. We got to be steadfast and unmovable. Always abounding in the works of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. It's not in vain. So you got to keep on working. You got to keep on trusting in God. And you got to keep on leaning on him whenever it seems like. Sometimes it may seem like the very ones that you think will serve God. The very one that you think, you know, getting the word of God. And they just seem like, you know, they take God's blessings for granted. But you pray for them. You love on them. And you let them know. You shout it out. Jesus saves. Only Jesus knows. Jesus sees. He cares and he knows. And then you can say that I've been gone through the fire and I've been through the flood. I've been broken into pieces. Woo, seen lightning flash from above. That's some hard things that some people are going through. But then when you look around and you see that God has blessed you through it all, through it all, and then you can be a witness. I remember hearing Sister Samantha saying, I'll be a witness Amen. for the Lord. Amen. Then she come with that verse, a sanctified witness. Amen. A Holy Ghost witness right. for the Lord. Uh, you got people that's being witnessing for the enemy. Amen. These influencers, they want to influence you yes. to give up your walk with God. Amen. But don't you dare do it. Uh, you are almost, we're not home yet. Amen. Uh, we're not home yet. We're not home yet. For that cause, we got to keep on working. Amen. Day by day. The song that says, Daily I shall worship thee, O Lamb of God who died for me, who extended endless mercy daily I shall worship thee help me out daily I shall worship thee O Mama of God who died for me who extended endless mercy? Daily I shall worship thee. Will you let that be your confession? Ah, oh, to grow stronger in the Lord. Let that be your confession. Daily I shall worship thee. And then the song says, Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain in my life. Amen. Take rule and take charge in my life. We glorify God today because I want you to know. Glory to God. Y'all ready to help me? The only way I know you can make it in, you got to live right. And you got to.
Think on these things. Think on these things. Glory to God. 